My name is Francisco Noem Becerra. I am the PI in the Quantum Optics Laboratory at the University of New Mexico. I am also part of the Center for Quantum Information and Control. In our laboratory, we want to investigate how we can use the fundamental properties of light and matter and their interaction to enable novel technologies to solve problems in metrology and communications. And our goal is to achieve performances beyond the performance of our current technologies. We have three different projects and each one of them addresses different problems in uh, communication, measurement and imaging. In the first project, we investigate how we can use the fundamental properties of laser light and single photon detection to realize measurements with sensitivities beyond the sensitivities of our current conventional detection schemes and how we can uh, apply these measurements to solve problems in communication. For example, maximizing the information transfer in a given communication channel. And mainly the way we do these kinds of measurements is we start off with a laser over in that corner of the table, and then that goes through some fibers and comes into this, this, this box, um, which is really where all of the nuts and bolts of the experiment are. So what we do is we take this laser light and we split it um, in two, and then what we can do is manipulate these two fields of light, right, changing their, say, amplitude or phase using all of these electronics over here. Um, and we manipulate the fields such that when they re-interfere, then they interfere in a very, very particular way such that when we detect them, um, we can kind of extract the most amount of information possible um, from the light itself. And one really key component in doing that is being able to resolve individual numbers of photons, right? So being able to detect three photons versus one photon. Um, and we can also use that information to then feed back to the measurement um, in order to kind of continually do the best possible measurement. In the SETCOM project, we investigate the interaction of light and matter with the goal of preparing highly complex quantum states of many atoms. By using the interaction of laser with uh, atomic ensembles, for example, cesium atoms, we can prepare a highly complex quantum state with reduced quantum noise. This reduction in quantum noise allows to realize sensing beyond what's called the standard quantum limit, which is the ultimate limit for conventional uh, sensing uh, technologies. And in this way, we can prepare or realize uh, sensors with sensitivities breaking the classical limits and trying to achieve the real quantum limit in sensitivity. These are the lasers for the atomic physics experiment. We are stabilizing frequency these lasers and send the light to the opt optical table where we have our vacuum chamber. In this vacuum chamber, we use laser cooling and trapping techniques to prepare the cold clouds of cesium atoms. This is the image of the atomic ensemble of cesium atoms. We prepare this atomic ensemble using this two-dimensional magnet optical trap. By using laser cooling and trapping techniques, and magnetic fields, we can compress these atoms and cool them to tens of microkelvin. Achieving these low temperatures increases the coherence among the atoms in atomic ensemble. By using the interaction of light with this atomic ensemble, it is possible to prepare quantum states of this atomic ensemble with reduced quantum noise, which becomes a resource for quantum sensing and quantum metrology. In the third project, we investigate measurement techniques that are applied to imaging, in which these measurement techniques allows to resolve a point sources beyond what's called the diffraction limit. If we want to resolve two point sources, as the separation of these point sources become comparable to the diffraction limit, it becomes very challenging to distinguish between these sources. The error in the separation distance grows exponentially as these point sources approach each other. We investigate quantum imaging techniques that allow to resolve point sources 
below the diffraction limit with an uncertainty that does not depend on the separation of these point sources. Such quantum optical techniques can improve the performance of current super resolution microscopy. This is the optical setup for the quantum imaging experiment. We use interferometric measurements to realize optical processing before single photon detection. In our experiment, we use image inversion interferometry with single photon detection to perform measurements that are able to extract the maximum amount of information per photon from the fluorescent field.